The governor says the government has a responsibility towards every Namibian child as far as education is concerned, advising unemployed qualified teachers to follow the right procedure of employment. I'm appealing to you, as much as you are unemployed, don't take the law in your own hands. If there are vacancies at various schools, the normal procedure is you apply for employment. You cannot come here, get children together, put children in front for you to get employment. It does not work. If there's any vacancies, do apply like everybody apply. And as a government, honestly, we cannot allow this type of things to happen. Wakudumo also advised parents not to enroll their children at any school without clear knowledge of its foundation. Parents, we cannot just allow everybody to take your child and to say they are going to offer those children education. As parents, God has entrusted us with those kids. We need to take responsibility to take our children to a formal school registered and administered by government. And we, when we talk about government in education, there's a second inspector, there's the deputy director, you go up to the level of the director. Those are the doors we need to knock on when we want to establish schools. It is understood that parents agreed to the operation of the illegal schools as their children will not have to walk long distance. The headman of Siguruguru village, Sambu Seket Cornelius Naiteta says, he allocated land for the school as services such as health and education are far from the village. I availed the land so that we can have a school and a clinic nearby. People suffer with a long distance to get medical attention. If we have a clinic here, they can even call an ambulance if need be for fast health assistance. I availed this land for the school for the sake of the little ones and also the marginalized people. We have them here sitting at home because the schools are far. Okay. The school in question is less than a kilometer from the formal Shiguruguru Combined School. There are more than 500 learners at these schools. Elizabeth Mwengo, NBC News, Rundu.